Uh, when we started the band, um, there wasn't a lot of other bands doing death metal music, which we were very much in at the time. It was very much a, there was a few guys in each town, all liked it, and everyone kind of knew each other because we liked the same, we had common interests. So, and we also kind of came together because of that reason. So that's pretty much how I met Greg, because we both, you know, liked, liked the, uh, the underground bands at the time. So uh, it was very much our music, uh, and that was a really nice feeling because everyone in a, in, a, in a bar or a club knew each other, and uh, it was a good time, and death metal music was in its infancy. It was starting to grow and get bigger and bigger, and uh, it was, we still like the original bands. They're still our favourite bands, I think. You know, there's, there's new bands come along which we, we can admire and appreciate what they're doing, but uh, our heart really goes back to the old school, you know, because that's, that's where we, you know, the first generation, that's what we, where we came from, I think, you know. The scene back when we first started, I mean, we, we, we grew up going into these clubs, which we probably would have called goth or rock clubs, which were a mixture of the two, really. Um, and a bit of the punk scene thrown in there as well. And when we first got a band together, those were the places that we were trying to get gigs at. Um, like there was the Frog and Toad in Bradford, there was um, Edwards Number no. 8 in Birmingham, there was Planet X in Liverpool, uh, the Old Marquee in London, uh, lots of places. And then we found out about more when we started travelling abroad as well, different ones in Holland and Germany. Most of the uh, gigs we did were with, with the same bands at the time, really. It was like uh, Napalm Death and um, Bolt Thrower, um, Carcass, um, Benediction, Cerebral Fix. So there, there was, you know, it was, it was kind of a smallish scene in the UK at the time, but then we started to play with some bands from the tape trading scene in other countries as well. And that's when we did a tour with Autopsy, who also signed to Peaceville. Um, and it was just like, my memory of it is that it was just a really tight knit, fun thing to be part of, where everyone either knew each other or knew someone who knew someone. And everyone promoted each other's bands and sent each other tapes saying, you've got to listen to this, it's great. And um, it was just, um, I have such fond memories of it. Um, that is one of the things I miss, really, um, that kind of scene. As we 